What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Acid Cheese Gaming, and welcome back to another Super Nintendo video game review. In this week's episode, in celebration of all things Spooktober, I'm going to be taking a look at Adam's Family. Adam's Family was originally a satirical comic strip, written in the 1930s, which later received a TV adaptation in the 1962, and then was resurrected as a full-length feature film in 1991. Now, the Addams Family Super Nintendo video game is loosely based off of the 1991 movie. The story for this game goes, Gomez's attorney has captured the various members of the Addams Family faction, and now it's your job to traverse across five levels, and holy god, these levels are long. And they are tough. I mean, these levels just drag on and on and on. If you manage to save someone, Eventually, by getting to the end of the level, you have to face a boss. After the boss, if you save them, you get a heart piece, and then a password to let you know that you cleared that m member of the family. And yep, this game is a platformer. The platformiest of all platformers. And let me just say right out of the gate, it is tough. Gomez has a certain amount of momentum base to him, where he doesn't quite start and stop immediately on a dime. There's a certain amount of running up before he stops. Now, I don't know about you, but similar to games like, say, Lost Levels, that just makes these games so tough. Especially with some of the wonky-wonky hit detection that some of these enemies have. You can stomp on an enemy, think that you've hit him in the head, and instead you haven't even touched him, and instead somehow you get hit. Or, like in this gameplay that you just saw here, inadvertently drop down and hit the spike. So, where this game does shine, however, is in its music. And a game having such long levels as this one, there's definitely a varied amount of tracks that also just add to the overall atmosphere of this game. Now, the one thing that I will say that I don't particularly care for about Adam's family is the sound of Gomez's feet you know, screeching every time he starts and stops. There's this, you know, strange, strange sound. It just gets tiresome constantly every time you, you know, try to stop, you know, quickly. You just hear his shoes make this strange noise. Now, if you're familiar with the 8-bit Adams Family, I can tell you right now, while this game's not nearly as tough as that one is, it is definitely a challenge. So, for anyone out there that just has, you know, absolute nightmares about the NES Adams Family, this is definitely not that game. But, finally, is Adams Family for Super Nintendo worth picking up and playing today? Well, if you're a fan of the Adams Family franchise or the comic strips of the movies, I would say yeah, go ahead and check this one out. It definitely has the overall atmosphere and it seems like it stays true to the overall source material, but if you're just passing through looking for an off kind of off the wall off the radar platformer and you've worn out your copies of say Mario World and Donkey Kong Country then no honestly stay from away from this one the wonky hit detection the brutal difficulty as you see from this gameplay here and the start stop mechanics just make this one too challenging to pick up and play today even at a price driving price of $18 Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Spooktober, and until next time.